Well, hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. Intuitive Soul Coach here with your May bonus reading. So whether you are here today for clarity regarding a career or a love situation or any other situation going on in your life, you've come to the right place. We will certainly clarify that for you today. And feel free to check out your other chart placements as well. And if you are new here, welcome. I am so truly grateful for all of you, each and every comment, each and every like, private message. I'm so grateful. So we are going to dive in today for my beautiful Sagittarians. The energy that is surrounding you. And if you are interested in signing up for a free reading, you can find that link in the description box below. Or if you would like to book a personal reading as well, you can find that link in the description box below. All right. I'm hearing the name Sadie. Sadie. So I don't know if this is a, an animal or a pet or if this is your name specifically, but I am hearing the name Sadie. So please take that, that as it resonates. It will not resonate with everyone. If it does, um, just pay extra. They want that actually that way. Pay attention to this reading. Uh, Sadie. All right. Sagittarius. Spirit. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay. And one more card, please, for my beautiful Sag. One more card for it. Thank you. Or we have two. We have a bonus one for you. Okay, beautiful. <clears throat> All right, you have a lot going on in your energy currently, Sag. Uh, in your past, we have the Emperor in reverse. So the Emperor shows up here as your past energy in reverse. As somebody who's very dominant, somebody who's arrogant, being arrogant about a situation, uh, this is somebody who could be a leader, uh, could be higher up with the emperor energy, but definitely somebody that's wanting to dominate a situation here with this emperor energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but this is also uh, somebody who wants to really take charge of a situation and maybe kind of bossy doing it. Uh, this is the card of authority. So this could be an authority figure. Uh, this could be somebody in your life, whether it's a, a partner or whether it's a, a boss. Uh, but we do have judgment showing up here in your past energy. And so this is you, you having a wake up call. There's uh, some sort of change of your life path here. This is your purpose or your calling, Sag. This is the universe stepping in saying, hey, it's time to reassess where your life has come to, to this point. Uh, it's also the card of second chances as well. So you could be having a second chance here in a relationship uh, for somebody who was a little bit more dominant. Uh, it could be somebody from the past here, or it could be uh, you are getting a second chance regarding a career option, a, a way to rebuild yourself in what is your true calling? What is that true purpose? Because in your past energy, you have the seven of wands. This is you being at your personal best, but it's also about you defending what's yours. Uh, so it's very interesting here that we have these three cards in your past energy. We have the emperor showing up in reverse. We have the judgment uh, showing up as the call. So you knowing that something needs to be done, Sag. So you knowing that uh, the person that, I feel like these are two separate energies here. I feel like this is your energy of you needing to defend what's rightfully yours, whether that's your reputation or your name, or even if that's your own heart that you're defending here, Sag. Um, you're stepping into your power, your knowing, uh, and you may have to let something go or cut something or or if anything, you, there is a huge change um, that will alter the course of your life that needs to be made uh, for a situation to work. But in your present energy, we do have the sun. Uh, so the sun is all about vitality, success, abundance. But it's also the card of truth. And that's the energy I'm picking up from this here, uh, Sag, is, is the truth is coming out here. 
Uh, you may have been feeling under the weather regarding a situation in the past. Uh, it it may, may have even led to some sort of health issue as well for you, um, but you're coming out on top of that. You're, you're reversing is what I am getting. The energy I'm picking up on, you're reversing that energy into something more, more lucrative, more positive. In your current energy, we also have the five of wands in reverse. And the five of wands shows up in reverse. It's it's saying to choose your battle, Sag. It's saying, you know, petty arguments aren't worth the fight here, especially when it comes to this person of your past energy, this emperor. You know, it, it seems like it should be simple, uh, a simple fix, whether it's something in communication, that there's some sort of dispute going on. But it's like somebody wants to get the last word in is what I am picking up on for you. Uh, somebody wants to... Be the boss in a situation, whether this is a romantic partner or this is in your career. Somebody has to have the last say, and it's it, it's quite petty. It's quite immature, actually. Um, and there, the Five of Wands shows up here as well. And this is all about again uh, being overly competitive in a situation. So it's about a need to collaborate and working together on a situation, and not uh, not saying things just to spite one another. Uh, I feel somebody stepping on you. Somebody, Sag, is trying to make you feel belittled or less than you are. That's the energy I'm getting, uh, especially with this showing up in reverse, smack dab in the middle of your reading. Somebody is trying to step on you to, I feel like they may have some sort of control issue uh, with this emperor in reverse or some sort of ego vibe going on here where they they feel more empowered uh, trying to bring down others but that's not that's not cool uh, the nine of wands is you defending yourself as well so it kind of goes in hand with that seven of uh seven of wands here so again the seven of wands is all about you defending a position and then we have the nine of wands showing up here and the nine of wands is saying Sag, you have the determination within you. You can find motivation in a difficult time. This is you finding that spiritual strength and you having the courage and discipline and persistence to finish what you started. Don't give up. Don't give up before the going gets tough. And I feel right now sometimes the going is tough, uh, but don't give up on this because um, your outcome looks fantastic. You have the world energy showing up here for you, Sagittarius. This this world is all about you completing something, you closing down some sort of a cycle. This is also the card of uh, international travel or emigration as well. Uh, but, it, but it is you coming close to wrapping up either a course or a job or a relationship. You are shutting something down uh, that possibly... You know, it felt like the, you're done. You're done in this situation. You may have felt stuck or there was a setback or maybe there was a lack of effort uh, from a situation or a person in the past, but you're ready to shut that down. Uh, and because you are willing to do that or you're coming to the finish line, you have the universe stepping in here, um, going to give you some sort of some sort of abundance with the six of pentacles. This is all about an unexpected resources, some sort of material prosperity or or help from others. It's the two-way abundance that equal give and take. It's not only you being generous, but somebody being generous in return. Uh, it's all about a, a gift. The universe gifting you is, is the energy I'm picking up for, Sag. The Six of Pentacles, again, is it's that charity card, the equal give and take. Uh, it could be financial assistance for some as well, or some sort of gratuitous or generous uh, gift given forward at this time. But I feel like that's the universe coming in, stepping in. Um, but to know that you have options, Sag, you have options, whether it's in your love life or whether it's in a career move or career advancement. Um, so don't let anybody try to step on you to climb up the ladder or uh, to step on you regarding a relationship, maybe belittling you or making you feel like you're not good enough to reach that ultimate sunshine, that ultimate happiness, because you have a lot of options. You are worthy, Sag. You, um, you're a good catch is what I'm hearing. You are a good catch. Uh, the Seven of Cups is the card of decisions, but also choices. Uh, it could be you daydreaming about something as well. 
Uh, Seven of Cups shows up, and this is about wishful thinking. Uh, but but make sure that you do you do hone in once you pick what it is that you truly desire that uh, option or that fantasy that you've been thinking about. Really tune in on what uh, speaks to your soul, Sag, and then go for it. Uh, focus on that energy because we do have uh, the King of Wands showing up here uh, in your final uh, future energy. And the King of Wands is is somebody who is a, a business owner or a businessman. This is also entrepreneurial energy as well. So it's somebody who is a leader, very successful. Uh, he could be a spiritual influencer as well, like a motivational speaker or somebody that definitely uplifts another being. And I feel like you need that at this time. And this could even be your energy, possibly because of a past situation you've learned and grown. And you don't want other people to be stuck in that position, Sag. So you are going to be uplifting others, whether this is for a career move or this is just your energy of wanting to feel inspired yourself. And it's almost like it's inspiring you uh, to become a better version as yourself. Uh, but you could be seeking out. Uh, some sort of higher spiritual guidance as well with this uh, King of Wands energy. Uh, very adventurous and warm, though. Very successful on um, moving forward with, again, whether it's a new business opportunity or whether this is um, a love romance. This is somebody completely new here, I feel for you, uh, or a whole new way of thinking uh, regarding a love interest or a career opportunity. So we are just going to clarify some of this energy here. I'm hearing the, the name as well, Dolan. Dolan or Dol, Dolan, Dolan, uh, D-O-L-A-N. I don't even know if that's a name. I don't know if I've ever heard it. It could be somebody's last name or a surname. So please take it as it resonates. It won't uh, resonate with everyone. But Spirit, can we please clarify, well, they are, are, already know what I'm thinking. Um, I wanted to clarify the past energy of the Emperor and the Judgment, uh, because again, we did get this Emperor uh, boss-like energy, somebody that is uh, very dominant or arrogant uh, in reverse here showing up, and there's Judgment, so something that you are being called uh, to do or uh, your purpose. Thank you, Spirit. So we have the five of emotions clarifying that energy here. Five of cups. This is a, some sort of emotional loss, possibly feeling a betrayal or a broken heart, uh, disappointment, but also bitterness. Uh, I'm really, that's standing out for me. Somebody's bitter. And, and what I'm hearing right now is when you compete with yourself, you become better. If you compete with others, you become bitter. If you compete with yourself, you become better. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, they want me to actually say that again with this card here because this is the card about competition. And like I said earlier, somebody kind of stepping on you for their own egotistical uh, reasons as well. Uh, when, you, when you compete with others, you become bitter. But when you compete with yourself, you become better. Okay. So either you maybe that's something you just said yourself or you uh, you were writing down or a quote maybe you posted on social media, but I'm, I'm hearing that loud and strong. So I feel like that's a huge message from spirit here. Uh, and then we get the magician. Yeah, the magician comes in in the upright position for you. Um, so you're wanting a whole new beginning. You're wanting to take action and uh, believe in yourself that you are able to move forward into a situation. You're not manipulated or being tricked into anything any longer, uh, Sag. And I feel like you're finally able to manifest and move forward because you see something for what it really is. And you're feeling the call to really do something and activate that energy moving forward. All right, Spirit, can we please clarify the sun here in the present energy? I wasn't necessarily getting if this was, um, I was almost getting an upright and a reversal meaning of the sun. So I'll clarify that a little bit more with um, some more cards here. But the sun is all about um, good health and success, again, and public recognition and fame. So I feel like somebody else could have been in the spotlight as well or tried to get the spotlight from underneath you. And whether that worked or not, um, only you know, Sag. Uh, but I definitely feel like somebody may have taken the spotlight out from you, but you really deserved it is what I'm, I'm picking up here. All right, Spirit, can we clarify the Sun card? 
uh, with the energy that I am feeling here. Thank you. All right. Yeah, we have the high priestess. This is your intuition, following your intuition. Uh, you receiving synchronicities, signs, numbers, symbols, uh, possibly even secrets being revealed that you weren't trusting in a certain person or a situation, and your intuition was right about something, Sag. You're, you're definitely was were listening to that intuition, and they want me to go again here to clarify uh, what it is or what secret, because I definitely feel there was something brought to the surface. Okay. Yeah, we have the muse. This one just flipped. I hope you caught that on camera here. Um, muse of voices. That's the king of swords energy in reverse. Yeah, and the king of uh, swords, I thought we already had that out here. Uh, but the king of swords energy in reverse is all about um, possibly something going on with a legal issue for you as well, Sag. Uh, but this is somebody who is very routine, very military, very structure. This could be legal issues as well. Um, somebody that has the knowledge or is using that knowledge to manipulate a situation, a person or an event. Um, so there's the truth and the, and the proof logical. This is somebody else also who's very logical, very routine. Uh, so it could be somebody in the military as well. It could be, uh, somebody in the police force, uh, or in the, the court system, if you aren't dealing with a legal battle itself. Um, but definitely what I am picking up on, somebody that does have the, the knowledge and power that's trying to manipulate or abuse uh, a situation here in the past. And I'm not loving that energy. I have to be honest, Edge. Uh, I'm not loving uh, how that's making you feel because I feel like you are working really, really hard to stand your ground and you're feeling like you want to give up. Okay, yeah. Then we have... This is your energy now. This is the king of emotions showing up here. So we have so many kings. We have the king of wands. Well, we have two kings, and then we have the emperor, uh, which rules the kings. Or we have the, we have all three kings, four kings out here. We have all three kings out here with um, the king of wands, the king of cups, and the king of swords here. The only one we don't have is uh, the king of pentacles which um, that's all about money, but I'm feeling a lot of a lot of miscommunication or somebody that uses their words very harshly. But the energy I'm getting from this King of Cups here is uh, this is you. You're very loving and supportive and you're emotionally intelligent as well. And that's why this situation is so hard for you, Sag, because you do have a lot of heart put into something here that's it's not uh, fully investing. All right, Spirit. Can we please, we've been talking a lot about the present and the future. Can we clarify the energy of my beautiful Sagittarians, their outcome? You have the world card, Sag. The world card is some uh, happy ending or completion. You have an unexpected resource from spirit coming in. You have choices. And then you have the king of wands, new creative energy coming in for you. Uh, king of wands, the entrepreneurship you possibly wanting to open up your own business or go a different direction because you have the emperor in the past being unfair. But again, that card of second chances. So you could have a boss. Uh, you could be repartnering up with that person who had a change of heart possibly, but I'm not liking what they did um, in the past. All right. So we are going to clarify here the future. Yeah, we have the 10 of... Uh, inspiration. So the 10 of wands, you are walking away from something because you're, you're taking on too much here. You're carrying some heavy burdens here, uh, Sag, but you, I feel like you're dropping that now going into your future. So as we're clar clarifying, you're walking away from something that you were taking on too much of. Uh, and I feel like it was the energy of that that bossy energy, that dominant energy. And whether this could be an, an old way of thinking as well for you, but I feel really it was a physical energy. Uh, but the 10 of inspiration is you're, you're dropping something to the ground and you are moving forward in a, a more positive, lucrative, happy time. Uh, you possibly were taking on too many responsibilities, but you're getting rid of the old to wait, make way for new. I feel like the situation of the past is just that of the past. Uh, yeah, because we, we do have the moon showing up here and the moon is, there's still uncertainty and confusion, uh, but it, the energy I'm really getting from this is deception. 
So I feel like you were deceived, Sag. There's something in the past energy going on where you felt deceived in a situation. Like, wow, they really, uh, they really stepped on my toes. Like that was not, that wasn't cool of them at all. All right, Spirit, can we please clarify the King of Wands energy, this entrepreneurship going on, this business, business owner or leader energy from the motivational speaker as well, uh, energy. Oh, they're telling me to put these two back in here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No wonder they told me to put those back in there. Okay, we have the King of Cups showing up again. So that's the one we literally just put back. I believe the King of Cups, this is you. You're being very supportive. You're emotionally intelligent. You know what to do, Sag. Uh, leave the past in the past. Let bygones be bygones uh, because you have the four of inspiration showing up here in your future energy. This is a time for a celebration. Uh, this is also you hitting a milestone. This could be the card of... Um, you going on a vacation or you attending a wedding, a graduation. Uh, it's, it's also the card of marriage or buying a home as well. Uh, but it's also, it's about some sort of celebration with friends and family. So I feel like you're coming out of this. And even though there is the energy that you were working hard towards, there's still going to be celebration here for you, uh, Sad. So I am loving this. This is great because you're taking a bad situation or something that wasn't, uh, you had to look at from a higher knowing you found your purpose and your calling within a situation or you knew what to do. I feel uh, you're climbing the ladder and regardless of who tried to step on your toes to get there, uh, you're doing great. You have the world. There's more traveling coming up. I'm hearing that word for you. So again, this could be just a vacation, even if it's not across the world, it could be just uh, across town or so. So beautiful energy. I hope that connected with you and resonated. If so, Sag, please hit that like and subscribe button. I do appreciate all of you and I look forward to connecting next time. Lots of love.